Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... My lady, I'll leave you to talk. How is King Joffrey, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. I am so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the King's help. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family, if you'll excuse me, my lady. Milady. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know. I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family. If you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. It's too dangerous for me right now. And for you as well. You needn't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I can be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Where's Sir Roiland? The man values pride more than honor. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. I hope so. You made the right decision, my lord. Bolton men approaching, my lord!
Something wrong with your gate? Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? Why the hurry? Are you cold? <laughs> you know I am a bit. Fortunately, there's no shortage of wood to burn around here. Thank you, my lord. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsman. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could... Given learn. enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Quite the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. Look at that. More foresters. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little law. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic Little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen 
will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them. You cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Tellers have no such craftsmen. Do you want ironwood for the next five years or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord, half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the King's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. Whitehill men, never. It's already done. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this, little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Leave my sister alone! I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. You've gone too far, Lord Ramsay. I demand you let her go. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? Oh, what have you done? But I don't want the brave lord. Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 Even though he did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. I certainly feel better about all this. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Brian! Lovely meeting, all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Please, stop! Let it go! Let it go! Stop it! Help me! Stop it! Let me go! Do something! Ethan? My son. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you flat out refused. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. 
There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen?